Welcome to the, one of my game reviews. This time I'm going to be reviewing a franchise that's been around for a very long time. That franchise is the Pokemon franchise. The games of that franchise, actually. I'm going to be reviewing those. Uh, I decided to wear a hat because most of it, it might not be a Pokemon hat, but most of the protagonists in Pokemon games wear a hat with the exception of a few, I guess. Most of the male protagonists. But anyway, um... Yeah, uh, I guess so, Pokemon's been around for a long time, and, uh, it's what really got me into handheld gaming. I used to play games before, but never really got into handheld gaming until Pokemon came out. So, um, I played the original red, blue, silver, gold, crystal. I played silver first, um, played silver first, and then I went back to the original red and blue, and then it came back to crystal. Now, I played a little bit of gold because I lost my silver and I got gold, and then I lost gold and I just got crystal because it was new. But, yeah, I lose a lot of stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And then they came out with the new games, the Game Boy Advance versions, and then finally the DS versions, which are now, right now, still played. Even the Game Boy ones are still played a lot. But, um,. Yeah, right now, I don't know what happened to my original games. I lost them, of course. Uh, but right now, I have Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, Pokemon Emerald, uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, which is kind of different from the Pokemon games, so I'll get into that a little later, and uh, Pokemon Diamond for the DS, uh, Pokemon Soul Silver, and Pokemon White. Of the newest um, generation in the Pokemon franchise, which uh, I preferred white over black because of some of the um, Pokemon exclusives in there, and um, the fact that I like Lightning better than Fire because Lightning is one of my favorite Pokemon types. So yeah, <clears throat> because that comes Lightning, and right, the other Pokemon is Fire. I already forgot what the other one was called, too. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and uh, start with uh, the Game Boy ones, and then I'll get into Mystery Dungeon last, because, you know, it's different from the other ones, so I guess I'll talk about that one last. But, um, Fire Red and Leaf Green, um, they are the remakes of the original Red and Blue, the first games, Pokemon games, that really came out. And, um, wow. Um, and, uh, they just, this, they're better than, uh, they're not better, well, what am I trying to say here? They're remakes, so they're still pretty classic, I mean, these are the first Pokemon games on the Game Boy Advance that I beat. Uh, and then I moved on to Emerald. Basically, um, if you know the, uh, story of Pokemon, it's not really a story, but the gameplay is just, uh, that you, um, go around killing, well, not killing, beating other people with their Pokemon, catching Pokemon, fighting Pokemon, and then finally getting to the end and beating, becoming the Pokemon champion, which basically in every single game. They have a few story elements, but they're not that large, and because of that, story is not really a big thing in Pokemon. But that's okay, too, because Pokemon's still fun no matter what. At least I think so. Um, yeah, so Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green are the original. It takes place um, about three years before uh, the Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So, yeah. Uh, Emerald is uh, another region, Hoenn region, with new Pokemon. Um, it's better than Ruby and Sapphire because I, I just think it's better because... A lot of the stuff, even if you, if you complete the Pokédex on this thing, you get one of the Johto starters. But I never actually managed to do that because I think catching every single Pokémon on the face, not the face of the Earth, every single Pokémon in a single game or game generation is just boring, tedious, and a waste of time. At least, that's just what I think. Others may disagree with me on that opinion. And then there's, um, Pokemon Diamond. Uh, it was the first real 
DS Pokemon game that it, to ever come out, not the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl series. Um, def, they were it's still good, just like the other ones. Um, there are definitely uh, some new features added in with the touchscreen on the DS because the DS is pretty awesome, but um, it's still basically the same thing. It's just a few touch elements here and there. Um, they furthered that with Heart Gold and Soul Silver. They added a lot of uh, touch screen based mini games like the Pokeathlon and a bunch of other mini side stuff that you could do with the touch screen. So I guess. Soul Silver and Heart Gold really made the DS capability. They really actually went in and actually um, let you use the DS capability. They let you use the DS capabilities a little bit more than uh, before, and I thought that was really good because because some of the mini games in this game are actually pretty fun, but they do get repetitive sometimes. So yeah. And then we've got, of course, Pokemon White. And the difference, if I said, I don't know if I said this before, but the difference between uh, Pokemon White and Black is that they have different exclusives in each. It's basically the same game, just different small exclusives. It's for every any other game. There are some, um, let me see, um, there's some stuff that's in Fire Red, some Pokemon that you could get in Fire Red, but you can't. And it's the same thing with Leaf Green. There's some Pokemon you can get in Leaf Green, but you can't get in Fire Red. So, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, it's uh, newer. It's actually really fresh. I thought so because it consists of entirely new Pokemon that are... And you can't even get any of the old Pokemon that you can get in any of the uh, old games uh, until you beat the main story of the game. And that is beating the... And I'm not going to spoil it. I was about to, and I just caught myself on that one. But, um, yeah, uh, I think overall, I would say that my favorite of all of these games would be Soul Silver. It would be Soul Silver, because Soul Silver is much better. I mean, not much better. It's actually based on opinion. I just think Soul Silver was the fun, most fun I've had in any Pokemon game. Even I think I had more fun on Pokemon Soul Silver than I had more fun in White because of some of the stuff that was in Soul Silver that wasn't in White. I even liked how you Pokemon followed around this game. I just thought that this game and this game, th this was overall better than this game, but others may disagree. And I'm fine with that. Just don't get mad at me for what I'm might be saying if I like Soul Silver more than White, well then who cares? I like Soul Silver more than White. Don't get mad at me because you're like, oh, White's much better, you loser. That's weird. Soul Silver's better, <clears throat> at least I think so. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, so now that we've pretty much gotten every most of the stuff. Done. It's not really a review, I'm just really talking about the games, I guess, but I'm still going to put it up as a review anyway, because um, I'm going to have a rating at the end of all the Pokemon games mashed up into one game and how I rate the entire plethora of Pokemon games. Um, but first, I might need to talk about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. It's not like the other Pokemon games, seeing as how it's not as... it's You play as a Pokemon instead of an actual trainer in this and um, uh, it's just different. It's more of a action. It's like kind of RPG, but not really. It's different. And if you, if you watch it, you can go ahead and check it out. It's not that bad. It's actually pretty good, but it can get very repetitive and boring at times. I never beat the game because I just got really pissed off at it. And it just it started to bore me so much that I just threw it into my uh, drawer and I just took it out today for this review but uh yeah it's mm, it's okay but um actually i'm gonna go ahead and rate this right now on its own because it's not it's different from the other pokemon games i would say the mystery dungeon any mystery dungeon game out there even if it's a ds mystery dungeon games i would say that mystery dungeon gets a maybe a seven maybe an eight out of ten because it's not as good as the other the actual rpg 
Um, I don't even think they have the same uh, Game Freak didn't... I don't even think Game Freak was evolved in a Mystery Dungeon, so... It might have been, I, I don't know. But um, this would be a 8 out of 10 for me. And uh, now let's go ahead and give the other Pokemon games a rating. Okay. Fire Red Leaf Green, Emerald, Soul Silver, White, and Diamond. I give them all a whopping 10 out of 10. Because I've never actually given a game a 10 out of 10 before, except for these series. Because for something that could be so repetitive and still be so fun at the same time, I applaud whoever made this game for that Game Freak Nintendo. It's great. I just wish that they wouldn't, uh, like, let me give an example. Um, Platinum. Uh, it's basically the same as Diamond Pro. I, I wish, wish they wouldn't make the same freaking game over and over and over again because it's just... I don't want to waste money. I guess if you didn't have Diamond Pearl, Platinum would be the better game, and you should just get that instead. But it's still not, like, some people would be like, oh, great, another Pokemon game, awesome. And then they find out that it's just the same exact freaking game, just a little bit tweaked. So um, I just wish they would stop doing that. But other than that, this series is a great franchise it's a great franchise, there's good shows, books, games, of course, a bunch of other stuff, comics, you know, sh movies, and you know, um, it's a big franchise, I really don't get into anything but the games, because I'm not a fan of the show, or the movies, or the comics, or the books, because I'm not going to sit down and read Pokemon, but the games are the only thing I really invest my time in, and they're really good and so I would say that these games are indeed deserving a 10 out of 10 because even though they're so uh, they're so addicting and so formulaic they still draw me in every time there's a new game but I'm guessing that white and bl black and white will be the last uh, real DS game and uh, that Nintendo will go ahead and make one for the 3DS or the whatever DS come after that DS has come after that, or if they actually make one for another console. But this might just be my last Pokemon game ever because I'm not going to waste money in 3DS. I just, I find the 3DS very uh, a waste of money. I just, if you already have one of these, you do not need a 3DS unless you're one of those gamers who love to game. I really don't care about the 3DS. I've also heard that it's just really disorienting. And so there's no point for me to get it so if they make one for the 3DS or any other line of DS's I am not gonna get, be getting any more Pokemon games because after buying this DS I am done buying any more DS's this is the DS I'm gonna keep and if any new really cool DS's come out well screw it I'm not gonna get them because it's just a waste of money for me at least because I already got this there's no point there's already a plethora of games on one DS, and plus you got the if you get the light, you got the uh, Game Boy thing, so you can still play your Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance at least, not the color, but there was a lot of Game Boy Advance games too. So yeah, but if they do make a Pokemon game like an actual Pokemon game like these, but more 3D-ish, and if they put in like the Wii or the Wii U, though I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting the new Wii. But if they do do something like that, I might get it. I don't know. Because that in itself is worth it. Because it's probably going to be really different. Like, graphical-wise, more of a Pokemon Coliseum look. Others have... I, I, I've already seen a lot of people wanting a Pokemon Coliseum kind of game. But a more... Like, just like these, except Pokemon Coliseum kind of game. But Pokemon Coliseum was not that good. Well, it was good, but not as good as these. These. So, yeah, 10 out of 10. I know this was a really bad review. Not really, but I'm not going to. I just, whatever. 10 out of 10. Okay, guys, see you next time. Stay tuned. This is Shadow Maniac 2552.